Hey folks, time for another Q&A, but it's actually just going to be one question today and then I've got a little comment about some stuff that happened on Facebook today. So here's the one question. What is a bug out worthy event? You see people on the internet, anytime there's even like a little M-class solar flare that's fired at the earth, people are freaking out. This is gonna be it, this is gonna be it. And most of the time observers are pretty good at not falling into that, but it does beg the question, what is a bug out worthy event? And I'm really going to focus on the natural aspects of this. Obviously, if uh, countries start launching nukes at each other, things are pretty much going in the toilet right away. But here are some things you can look for. Global GPS failures or near global GPS failures. If all of a sudden your phone thinks you're 10 states away or in another country or it tells you you're you're in the middle of the ocean. And this is happening everywhere. You know, we're talking like this is major news and they're not telling you why. Um, you can know that it is because Earth's magnetic field has begun an accelerated rapid shift and the data just can't keep up. Um, something like that happening worldwide is definitely a indication that stuff's about to get bad very, very quickly. Another good one, if they all of a sudden inexplicably or for a ridiculous reason that you can tell is a ridiculous reason, ground all air travel or planes start falling out of the sky all over the world for no reason. Things like that as well will really indicate that there is a major, major problem with Earth's magnetic field. If there is an X-20 solar flare or higher directly aimed at Earth, I'm not talking about it's over at the limb, I'm talking about it's dead center, it's fired right at us. Uh, same would be if we get three or four X-10s fired right at us. You know, there's still a chance in that case that you might have to put your tail between your legs and come back home a couple days later. But at that level of a solar event, with the magnetic field as it is right now, you have to at least start thinking in that way. And the other thing that I would say is a major bug out event is if a super volcano goes off. If uh, Campi Flegri in Italy or Taupo in New Zealand goes off, that's definitely going to be the start of the destabilization. Um, pretty clear signal there, uh, pretty easy to see. So it would really be those extreme levels of solar activity, volcanic activity, or magnetic field activity that really tell you, okay, we have crossed that threshold and we're not going back to normal. Now, I made a comment on Facebook this morning and there are some individuals who are oof, really misguided about what some of this stuff means. I made a comment about third eye open and what people can see. And even a little bit of an admission how I used to just scoff at this and think those people were nuts, crazy. But the people who were um, the people who were taking that as a, oh, that's a satanic thing. All this, all this new age stuff is, is satanic and, and, and this is against God. Mm, they're a little more confused than I was back in the day when I scoffed at it. First of all, there's nothing new about this. This is age old. Uh, second of all, it's like a gun. It's not that a gun is inherently good or inherently bad. It's the person holding it and what their intentions are. Everything that is part of our body, and I'm speaking directly now to the people who were really hard thumping that this is against God, like this whole third eye stuff is, it's satanic. Every part of our bodies was made by God, all right? Um, if, if you believe all that stuff and you have take that mindset on the third eye being satanic, you are the kind of person who believes every part of our body was made by God, everything we can do was set up to exist in this way. And I will tell you, this is, this is not all that unlike the conversation that I had with you guys before about people thinking they don't have to actually prep, they don't actually have to do anything, they just have to pray and believe in God and accept Jesus Christ and they will be saved that way. That's not what he said. Faith without works is death. He told Noah to pray, but he also told him to build an ark. He didn't just tell him to pray and believe 
God helps those who help themselves. Don't you believe that? So the same kind of misunderstanding is coming in uh, and happened this morning very strongly on the post I did on Facebook about the third eye opening. No, there's nothing inherently evil about anything like that. Not even close. It's very easy to have your third eye open and not use it for personal power. Use it for his power. Stand in the light. There's no reason that can't work as well. Just like with a gun. A good guy with a gun stops a bad guy with a gun. Is the gun good or is the gun bad? That's not even the right question. Same with the third eye stuff. Anyway, bug out worthy events. Don't bug out too early, but also, if one of those major events does happen, don't wait. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.